Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the player look at where the camera is looking at. So uh, if you pay close attention to where my character is looking at, you can easily see what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and create it. Um, to create that, you have to do two things. One is you have to, it has to be based on event tick. There's no running away from it. If you want something like this, it has to be based on event tick. So just type in event tick. If you don't have any, if you have any, you can just go ahead and use that one. Uh, and then we want to see where the camera is looking at it. We can't really trace anything in front of it because sometimes the trace just doesn't work or it doesn't catch anything. It's not that it doesn't work, doesn't catch anything. Uh, so we can just go ahead and uh, grab the follow camera. And from that, we have to get the world location world location like so uh, so you have to create uh, grab this one and then we we need to since the uh, in third person character games the camera is just behind the um, the character so we can't really use that location we have to use a location a little bit forward so we will use get forward vector this one and then we have to multiply it by something because we want to grab a location a little bit further. Um, in this case, I'm using 500, so make sure to type in 500, 500, 500. And we have to add these two together. So just add uh, and add these two together. And make sure you right click, promote to variable, name it something. Uh, I named it camera hit location. And so uh, every frame in the game, uh, this variable is getting updated and we are going to be using this one. After that, go to your mesh, um, find your anim class, just go ahead inside it. If you're using the default animation blueprint, you can just go ahead in the uh, ABP underline many. And um, in the anim graph, so, First of all, let's go ahead in the event graph. If you don't have any animation blueprint, make sure you go ahead and create one. You can just right click animation uh, and animation blueprint. Make sure you go ahead and create one animation blueprint for yourself. And then you have to create a lot of other things before this one for sure. Uh, but anyway, so you can, in the um, initialize animation, you can go ahead and cast to your third person character and make sure to um, expose it to a variable. And then maybe you could go ahead and get camera hit location from this part of uh, the variable, but it doesn't work for me like that. So I had to go ahead in the uh, event blueprint update animation and cast to third person character. So it's like, uh, third person character this one and then for the object so third person character for the object you can either get the owning actor or get the player character like so doesn't only really matter both work the same and then in here I've named it camera hit location so I have to go ahead and get camera hit location from here and make sure I right click promote to variable uh, to have a variable inside here because it works like that it grabs the uh, location it stores it in a variable inside the uh, actor blueprint and then in the any blueprint I have to in every frame it's real time I have to get that stored variable and get it stored to somewhere else in the animation blueprint and use the uh, vari variable inside the animation blueprint. So I have to store it somewhere else. So this is the way I did it here. So I cast it to a third person character. Then I got the camera hit location. I right clicked on it, uh, promote to variable. I named it the same exact name. 
camera hit location and then I made sure that everything's connected together so every frame it's storing the information I want in this variable then we go to any graph and then this is the node we are going to be using so it's called look at under skeletal controls look at then the bone to modify you can go ahead and choose head but i found it better to be using neck underline zero one or somewhere around here of course because sometimes the neck doesn't really um, look pretty well when the character is looking down or up it looks a little bit weird alpha is definitely one uh, look at clamp uh, is 50 interpol uh, interpolation time is 50 for me you can just go ahead and you choose something like three it really doesn't affect the interpolation that much uh, and the look at location is gonna be a exposed pin so so you can just go ahead and come in uh, come in here click on it and expose as pin it will be exposed here and you can just drag camera hit location get camera hit location and connect it this way um about the clamp so if this is zero let me show you how it looks if this is zero the character's head will just rotates all the way um if you go ahead to something like 90 it will be less but it still doesn't look good so less means um less range of motion more means more range of motion so i found it best to be using 50. And this will be the end result. So to summarize everything, uh, you need to create this one in the uh, character blueprint. For me, it's third person character. If you don't know what your character blueprint is, just come into the world settings. Uh, if you have set a game mode, you can find your character blueprint in here i haven't set any game mode i can just go ahead and set a third person game mode and use my third person character find it like so double click on it um and then inside your animation blueprint make sure to store the information for every second using the update animation and then use it in the anim graph using look at one thing to note though is if you type in look at you have to um it will convert it because this these are local and this is just a component so it will convert it don't worry about it it will just do it automatically you don't really need to worry about it um and this is it I hope this was helpful and if you um and if it did help you please hit the like button and have a great day bye